time I have completed all five books. I feel so awkward mentioning this. I ended up setting up a reading journal. You know, like, what? <laughs> I had three other books I was gonna try and read for this one. I feel silly. We have two new release sequels that I'm super excited about. Let me not mislead you. You wanted to uh, hang out with me for this little book update. She went into it. Oh my goodness. Like, why are they there? <laughs> Hello, loves, and welcome to another themed reading vlog. Today, we are going to be reading POC fantasy novels. So I am super excited about this. Hopefully, we have a another awesome round like the romance reading vlog where I just love everything. <laughs> Uh, but yes, I want to start doing these themed reading vlogs maybe every month instead of my old just like weekly reading vlogs. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I do also want to mention in this video that I do have my wish list up again. I know somebody was asking about it previously and since my birthday is coming up on September 1st, I figured I'd let you know. So if you do want to help a girl out, I don't know, this is hard. I feel so awkward mentioning this, uh, but I did have somebody ask, so I do have my wish list back up and there's a link in the description if you are interested. Now, as for the reading vlog, we have two new release sequels that I'm super excited about and then two completely new to me books that I'm also really excited about. I think that I might actually start with A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. Let me make sure she, okay, yeah, she's black. <laughs> Just trying to make sure that my POC books are actually my POC authors. So I want to start off with this one because I kind of know the least about it. So, uh, I don't know. I like I like starting off with what I think might be a lower star and then moving up to what I think I'm going to like the most. So right now I am just unsure of this. Nothing, nothing about it. No hate, no shame. I might love this. Hopefully I will. But this one is probably the one we're going to start off with and I will keep you updated. into the river of royal blood i'm a few chapters into it and i guess i'm enjoying it i feel like when it comes to fantasy it usually takes me a while to get into it so i'm kind of ready to take a break <laughs> already because we haven't really gotten to anything yet like there are some exciting things we're setting up the story we're setting up the world and you know what the stakes are and stuff like that we have two sisters who are supposed to fight to the death for their throne you have a little bit of their back thanks Kiwi have a little bit of their backstory and all of that and we have some controversies we have our first kind of incident that ends up happening that's probably kind of the catalyst to the story and so like everything is being set up but the things haven't really happened yet so I'm not super engaged but that doesn't mean anything at the moment because this is pretty much how every single fantasy goes for me. I don't think I've ever really started a fantasy and was fully gripped at the very beginning. I'm usually like, oh, that seems interesting. And then, you know, it takes some time before I'm like, oh my god, I'm invested. So, so far, I think it's good. I'm liking the characters. I'm liking the general idea. I'm a little bit annoyed at the world for this royal system that they have but <laughs> I guess that's the point of the book so excited to see how it goes and the relationships and the struggles and yada 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 so I will give you an update later <laughs> but right now I'm about to watch some YouTube because 
that's what I feel like doing. <laughs> I have continued A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy and I just have a lot on my mind in general right now so I'm having a hard time really getting into this but I'm trying. <laughs> um, we'll see how far I get into it today. Perhaps it's not going to be that far but we're going to try. We're going to try to read some more, get further into it, get some thoughts. I do still like the setup but I'm not super invested yet. update time it is friday and i am continuing a river of royal blood i am only like seven chapters into this book i did the romance reading vlog and finished all four books in two days and <laughs> this one book has already taken me like three days to get seven chapters like how bad is that apparently i cannot binge fantasy the same way that I do romance or thrillers or things like that. So good to know, good to know, but I'm going to try to make a huge dent if not finish this today so that I can get to the other books because I have three other books I was going to try and read for this vlog. <laughs> I feel silly, but two of them are sequels, so I don't I think those will go faster than this because I'm being introduced into the world and I think that takes up more time and mental capacity to kind of like get fully invested and fully involved versus the two that I already know the world. So I'm going to read those next probably <laughs> so that hopefully I can get through them faster but that's where I'm currently at. As for my besties, hello besties, hello loves, popping in to remind you to thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you're enjoying the video and you want to see more content like this and get more of my craziness because who doesn't just love that? Also, you can become a bestie to support the channel and or get access to fun exclusive content which I am really excited about. So thank you so much and let's get back to the video. Yeah, that's it for the besties update. I will continue reading this and I'll give you an update a little bit later. Good morning. So today is Saturday and I got like 60 something percent into this book last night. I guess that would be around like chapter 19, 20 or something like that. And I started getting really invested in what's going on, in the characters, in the development. So I've gotten to the part where I'm like into the book. So I continued it this morning. We did a family night last night, so I didn't get as far into it as I would have liked. That's gonna be something that makes <laughs> doing things a little bit difficult sometimes is because I don't actually know when we do our family stuff. It just kind of happens. That's important to me, so I have to work around it, but I'll figure something out eventually. Anyway, yeah, I'm into it so far. I love her learning her magic. I love her training sessions. I love the characters. I even think their travel scenes are doing well. Like there's a lot that has been happening that I'm like really interested in. Um, I'm really also interested in the fi family dynamics. Like it's really frustrating, but I wonder what it's going to end up being. There are some things that I want to happen, which isn't good. <laughs> Usually when I read like fantasies or thrillers or whatever, like I'm not expecting anything. I'm not looking for anything. I'm just interested in seeing what's gonna happen. There are specific things I want to happen in this book. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel if they do not happen or if they do, like, I don't know. I do not know, but I am enjoying this so far. This morning while working on it, I am also working in my brand new business bullet journal and I am planning out things that I want to do with the shop, what kind of art I want to work on because I'm going to start doing more art videos and vlogs and things like that. And then I also want to 
no one wants to see your butthole. I also want to, I guess, give Kiwi some scratches. That's what we were here for. <laughs> that is my job. <laughs> That's what we do. I also want to revive the Patreon physical rewards in the near future because I've been putting those on hold. Big shout out to everybody who is still a patron, even though like really right now all they're getting is like audio newsletters and these new behind the scenes posts that I'm doing. But hopefully I'll start doing more exciting rewards in the near future. Yeah, I need, I need to start making money. <laughs> I have just been spending so much money recently and I'm all like, oh, okay. Like if I budget out my like nine to five job that covers stuff, but there's not much wiggle room. So I would love to start making money here on like YouTube and on Patreon. Don't know if slash when that's gonna happen. <laughs> Okay, update time. So today is Sunday. Um, not only did I finish this book yesterday, but I started the sequel and I was devouring it. Unfortunately, which is why there's no clips, I was also feeling really sick. I had a migraine, I was super nauseous, I was just super low energy and just not in the best of mood. Like I think I may have said something like in the morning and then like the rest of the day I was like out. <laughs> I actually went to bed like so freaking early. So I didn't finish this, even though I probably would have on different circumstances. So I'm probably gonna finish this today and start the next one. We have a couple more days for me to get through the next three books. We're gonna see how that goes. I think based off of how the second book in the series is going for me, I think I'm gonna get through these two really, really fast because they are sequels. So I already understand the world and I'm invested already. So my typical starting a fantasy series problem, I don't think is gonna happen with these, but I am admittedly really nervous about this one. Cause like, it took me forever to get into this one. <laughs> And I imagine something similar is gonna happen with this one, but I don't have a lot of time left because I want this for this weekend. Well, not this weekend, next weekend, next Sunday. So this vlog I'm hoping will go out next Sunday. So I need to finish these soon. <laughs> also, side note, I'm sitting up here looking at my library. You guys, this makes me so happy. Like just so happy to look at this. I don't know, it just, it makes me feel so warm. Like, look at this. I cannot believe this is mine. Like, what? What? I should turn on the light, huh? Let there be light. But look at that. I need to like put fairy lights or something on it. <laughs> it's so cool. I don't know. I just, I feel so fortunate to be able to have this. Like when I've been getting down every once in a while, like just dealing with being far away from people and all of that. And just being all like, man, was this the right choice? But then it's all like, I'm so lucky I'm able to be around my family. I'm able to have all of this space. Like this, I have this, this is mine. Like what? <laughs> So I wonder how long this like amazement slash giddy joy is going to last every time I look at my shelves. Because I know a good chunk of this is because this is completely new to me. I have always wanted a library. And I know like technically this isn't a full on library. It's not exactly what I had in mind when I said this, but this is like the closest I've ever gotten to something like that. And just look at all, like there's so much. <laughs> there's so much. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's like a really obvious and clear representation of how lucky I am in the book space, you know? Like, the fact that I've been able to collect and build this over the years, I don't know, it just, it's just a reminder of how lucky I am. But yeah, I am gonna have to tone it down a little bit because I don't, I don't really make enough money here on booktube to be buying books. <laughs> 
uh, but we'll see. It's hard to not buy something that I feel like furthers my YouTube growth. So I imagine we're gonna keep up with it. <laughs> Hello loves, so update time. It is currently Monday, August something. <laughs> Oh no, dates right now, like the 15th? I don't know. But, but I ended up finishing the sequel to A River of Royal Blood. And I finished it, cause I was like, oh yeah, I only have a little bit left. And so I think Sunday, I went to go finish it and it was like, you're done. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess I finished it yesterday. But I was like, I am so confused because it doesn't feel like it's finished. So I went back and I listened to the last couple of chapters again. I don't actually think, like I think my audiobook skipped for some reason. So I missed a good chunk of it. <laughs> so I actually finished it and it felt so rushed. Like, not gonna lie, I was like super into it, super excited about it. And then when I finally, you know, read the sequel and I was, I was confused, not so much because like I was satisfied in the end and I don't have that book, which is why I'm holding up this one. But I was confused cause it felt like it was taking forever to get to anything. And then like the last couple of chapters, everything happens like really, really quickly. And that was kind of not super satisfying, but at the same time, I didn't hate it. I kind of wish it was a little bit better balanced. Overall, I enjoyed the entire duology. It's just the two bucks. I'm a fan of duologies and trilogies. I don't like the idea of series that are like 10 books long. <laughs> so I am glad that it was wrapped up. I just, I missed it. Like I missed it. I got to the end and was all like, wait, what just happened? A blink of the eye and it was gone. So I had to, you know, go back. Again, I do think there was a technical error with my Kindle Whisper Sync. It just skipped the last two chapters for some reason. I did enjoy it. I liked it. I see the flaws in it. Specifically, the pacing was stupid. Like the fact that it took forever to get anywhere. And then it was all like, oh, now we're gonna finish it all. You know, like what? <laughs> How do you finish it up that quickly in the end? But I still enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed the things going on. I enjoyed how it ended like on basic. So I was into it. I still liked it. I also started This Wicked Fate by Kaylin Bayron, which is the sequel to This Poison Heart or something like that. And as I expected, I got more into it quicker because I already knew what was going on. But my cousin came over, so I wasn't able to continue. And then I've just been like busy doing other stuff and I haven't picked it up since then, which is kind of a bummer because I feel like I probably would have gotten further along. You know, like if life didn't have life things happening. <laughs> so I'm done with work right now. I just finished dinner with the family. And I wanna say that I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna continue this, but I'm kind of not in the mood to read right now, which is a struggle when I still have one, two, three, at least three more books left to read this week. I do have some video editing that I also need to do. But yeah, we'll kind of see. Hello loves, long time no talk. So it's actually been a couple of days since my last update. And yeah, yesterday was rough. Um, I ended up having some tummy issues all day. <laughs> like in the morning I was like, I feel fine. I just teased the bathroom a lot, it's okay. Uh, and quickly that kind of spiraled down into just like me feeling like crap, having headaches and nausea and all that garbage. And then when I was all like, oh, I'm okay now, it was all like, actually, <laughs> like, bring it back. Let's, let's uh, make you feel worse again. I feel okay now, so hopefully we're good. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't do much yesterday. I didn't get any reading done. But the day before, I did finish This Wicked Fate by Kaylin Bayron. And as I mentioned, I was so excited to read this book because I enjoyed the first one. And even though there was that like romance aspect that I was like, eh, 
it was still super, super gripping. And this kind of falls on the heels on that where we like jump right into the action. Uh, well, we don't jump right into the action. There is some setup, don't. Let me not mislead you. But we're continuing where we left off. And you know, there's a little bit, oh, gotta figure out what we're gonna do. And you know, there's a little bit of a recap, which I thought was a little bit nice. I definitely didn't like this one as much as I liked the first one, which is really sad. I don't think there is anything super terrible about this book. I felt like there were things that happened that had no point that, you know, the author was just trying to make sure that the characters always had something to do. And, you know, part of me is kind of all like, okay, well, arguably, like, that's how life is, you know, where you go to do something and then it's all like, oh, do we need to do that? But one of the first things that they ended up doing, I was all like, why? <laughs> if that was what was going on, why did it have to be like that specifically? Like, it was very confusing to me, like, what the point was. And then we had a couple of other things where they kind of went in. Now, I will say the pacing was really nice because there was always something going on, and I think that's the reason why but I just kept feeling like what was the point of certain things and I don't know like typically I'm just here for the ride I am not a super critical reader when it comes to most of the books that I read I think when it's like steeped in realism I'm more likely to be critical because I'm all like oh well realistically that wouldn't happen but even then like I read a bunch of romances that are like cheesy trash <laughs> and I'm like here for it so I don't want to be critical of this book because overall, I don't actually think there was any issue with it, but I just didn't love it as much as I loved the first one. And then we kind of got to the ending. I don't know. I just felt so, so. Um, so the first book I think was a high four stars. The fact that I didn't like the romance stuff lowered it. This one I think is a solid three, not terrible. I'm still glad that I finished the series. I might even read it again, maybe, I don't know. Here's the other issue that I have, is I felt like there were too many characters for the sake of there just being too many characters. To the point where even though I was able to pick up all of the details and like get a general idea, there were a couple of people that also like, I don't fully remember like when this person came into this situation and I also really don't know why. Like, why are they there? <laughs> Like, I like them, they're cool, that's fine, but like, what's what's the point? Like, there were just a lot of characters for the sake of there being a lot of characters, and not all of them were necessary, and I'm like, I don't know, it just felt like a lot for a duology. I'm sad, I'm sad because I want to tell you I love it, but I don't love it, but I don't hate it. But yeah, so I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep rambling at this point because my feelings on it is kind of confusing if I'm being honest with you. Like it's weird how just like bleh I felt about it. But that's where we're at. I finished another book. That means we've read three books so far because we read this and its sequel plus this. We still have two more books left and I wanna make sure that I finish it this week. Now, as I originally planned, I think I'm going to jump into Blood Like Fate because I think like this Wicked Fate, which I actually finished in like a day and a half, this will probably go by really quick. So if I do this, I'll be into it real quick and then we'll just kind of see how this goes because it's gonna take me a while to get into it probably. And this part I'm gonna share with everybody because I ended up getting a package that I wasn't expecting to get. So thank you to whoever bought me this. So this is from my GM witch wish list. I ended up getting Blades in the Dark. I'm really sad because it doesn't say who it's from. It, <laughs> it doesn't say who it's from. I don't think it's from any of my family or friends because I make a separate wish list for them specifically. That's like a combination of like, books and games and random personal things that I'm interested in. And then on this channel and on my like links link, because <laughs> I have a link with all of my links, I have two wish lists. I have my GM wish, li wish list and then I have my booktube wish list because those are things that I'm always happy to get. Like 100% I am never mad. So I got this and I'm so happy. It does come with like a gift receipt 
but it doesn't say who it's from. <laughs> then the, the best part is, and she's coming because I've been hoarding it, uh, they ended up getting a toy for Kiwi. And it's a rainbow one. Like how awesome is this? But I have no clue who it's from, so I can't say thank you which is kind of upsetting to me. So if this was you, thank you so much. Please let me know because I am very confused. <laughs> let me give this to her though because she's been like sniffing the bag trying to get me to like open it up for her. Yow! But yeah, and I also apologize. Like obviously anything that I'm gonna get before my birthday, I'm gonna open it because I order stuff from Amazon normally and I can't tell the difference because it just says my name on it. So I don't know if it's something that I ordered or if somebody else ordered. I wonder if I can update the name from the wish list so that it says wish list on it. And then that way I won't open that shit. Okay, maybe that's what I'm gonna do, but Kiwi. This smell is intense. Do you like it? I'm holding you so awkwardly. Like it's so that the people can see you. Do you like it? You like it, don't you? I don't know why you have to rub your face on it. You're supposed to play with it, weirdo. Yeah. So thank you so much to whoever ended up giving this to me. Like this is a perfect gift. And I'm really, really excited about the blades in the dark. Uh, not gonna lie. <laughs> What is thick chunky? Because as you guys may know, I'm a really big fan of tabletop role playing games. And I am hoping, although it's not gonna happen right away, it's gonna it's not gonna happen until like next year, but I'm hoping to bring back the GM Witch channel and start sharing stuff like this and you know playing around with all of the shit I have. Today I'm going to try and start Blood Like Fate and see how far we can get into this bad boy. So I will give you an update later. Okay, so I went to the post office and I started listening to Blood Like Fate by Leslie Sambury on the way there. And I might be wrong about being able to get through this one quick, quick about being able to get through this one quickly. I am invested. I do care about the world and all of the things that are happening. I am seven chapters in and I am so depressed. <laughs> I care <laughs> and it's definitely not a happy start is all I'm gonna say more so than I thought you know like I don't know I guess I don't know what I was expecting but it's just it's very frustrating the things that are happening are frustrating upsetting not fun just having to deal it all makes sense there's no like I'm not I'm not mad at the book at all like no they're doing a great job just fuck. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. So I am gonna continue, but I am getting actually upset. I'm feeling down and upset. Like it's definitely transferring onto me. <laughs> like there's enough for me to just be like, damn, man. Like, so that's where I'm currently at. Okay, so I am a lot further along, a little bit more than halfway through, and I am loving this one so far. Like, loving it. I'm invested. There's all this tension and drama and high stakes. Like, there's so much going on. And yes, it was hard <laughs> in the beginning. Like, oh boy. Oh boy, and there's still some of those moments, but already things have progressed in such a intense and fulfilling way, and we haven't even completed the book yet. So, so far, right now, again, halfway through, so this can change, but like, this is a five star for me right now. Like, feelings and emotions and just investment. <laughs> the investment is real. So I, yeah, I'm so happy with this right now. So freaking happy. So excited to see how it ends. A little bit nervous because I'm feeling so good about it right now. There's room for things to happen. So <laughs> 
nervous, 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 nervous. And it's funny seeing these like hints to things and being all like, oh no, what are we gonna get? Like, how is this going to affect things? What are we, what is, what is being foreshadowed? <laughs> because there's been a couple of those that I'm all like, oh. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited. Really excited. This really just goes to show how disappointing this book actually was. Like, this is disappointing. Like, it was a mediocre book. There was nothing wrong with it in the grand scheme of things. I didn't hate it. But like, I just felt really disappointed at the end. Like, I was... I was expecting this book to have the stakes and the intrigue that this one does. Like, I guess... I just thought that they would be swapped. Not that I thought that this would be mediocre, but that I thought the stakes would just be a little bit lower. <laughs> but instead, like this one, oh my God. Like, like I'm feeling like this series is a favorite for me. Oh, it's dinner time. Um, I'm hungry, so I'll give you an update later when I'm further along in the book because yes! So it is Saturday and last night I finished Blood Like Fate by Lizelle Sambury. I was saying it wrong. I am so sorry because I am friggin' in love. I mean like, I'm sorry anyway, like you should try to get people's names right. I'm terrible with names so I usually butcher them, but I would like, I would like to get them right. Anyway, this book is fire. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it so much. I feel like definitely a five stars for me. I will admit that there are a couple of things that I was either just generally annoyed about, especially when it came to the main character and how they were dealing with stuff, but it felt right to the character, so I can't really be upset about that. And then also I think there was a significant thread line that worked but also was a little questionable when you got the big reveal but i ain't mad at it so like i realized that you can probably find holes if you look hard enough but i think in general it all fit really well i really enjoyed it the stakes were high <laughs> the payoff was good like I really, really enjoyed it. I will say that the ending, although not necessarily disappointing, wasn't as satisfying as the rest of the book or like the middle portion of the book specifically. Like I was already in love with this book at that point. Like I was all like five stars. <laughs> But then I got to the ending and although I was all like, yes, yes, I still was also kind of like, like it would have been even better if it gave me the same feels that like the middle of the book was giving. And it was just a little, just a teensy bit underneath that. So I guess that's my disclaimer. Highly recommend this book, highly recommend it. It does, it is intense. It, there are high stakes. There are feelings and emotions that you deal with. In the first book, which I, cause I don't wanna spoil this obviously. In the first book, our main character, again, this is a world specifically where black witches magic is connected directly to blood. And for a lot of the women, when they get their first period, that is also usually the catalyst to when they have a trial that will determine what their magical power is. And our main character, Character, she ends up getting a high stakes trial where she basically has to destroy her first love. So like that's a that's a crazy task. And I mean like that's not a spoiler like that's the premise of the book and um obviously it's her trying to fall in love so that she could destroy this person to save her family because as i mentioned previously when i was talking about this the consequences of her not achieving this goal is dire to her family so a lot of things happen in the first book lizelle could have taken the easy way out with this book 
like could have you know solve some things off paper and like put us in a different position but no she went into it and i love it i love it i love it so i was really happy with this so i was so happy with this so i'm i'm in a good spot a good spot hi you wanted to uh hang out with me for this little book update is that what happened then? don't mess up my book baby okay so we have oops we have one more book for this vlog and today i'm thinking is probably gonna be a mostly lazy day i have a bunch of stuff that i want to do i have some furniture i need to put together i have some plastic bins i want to fill up and put downstairs like there's just a lot of house chores that i need to do today so hopefully i'm going to listen to this audiobook while i do all of my house chores so yeah um hopefully my plans actually go through i am tired and i don't actually want to put anything together or do any house chores so that's another wrench in my plan maybe most of that stuff's gonna happen tomorrow <laughs> but I should try and get a lot of it done today. I am rambling, so I'm gonna stop here and try and be productive. Good morning. Okay, so today is Monday, August 22nd, and I still have not started reading The Wild Ones. I don't know what it is, but I keep putting this off. I think because I know it's gonna be a new fantasy, it's gonna take a while for me to get into it, so I just keep putting it off. I did, instead of reading that, I ended up setting up a reading journal and I'm like really proud of it. It's got a bunch of spoilers in it, but I put in all of the books that I've read so far this month and I wanted to keep it doodly and simple and I'm loving the way that it looks. I am hoping that today I will finally bite the bullet and start The Wild Ones by Nafisa Azad so that I can finish out this vlog because I still need to edit it and schedule it and this weekend I'm gonna be really busy so I need to try and do everything before the weekend <laughs> so I really need to finish this and hopefully my next update with you will be me talking about the progress of the book fingers crossed about this book and I'm struggling because I keep just like rambling but basically I've started The Wild Ones. I am enjoying it. I think it's really lyrical and beautifully written. It's got this kind of whimsical feeling to it. There is a lot of ambiguity throughout the story and I will say as a possible flaw we have this group of women that are known as the wild ones and aside from the main character in that group they all kind of blend into one character so I'm almost thinking of you know this group of women as one character instead of multiples especially since i personally am not somebody who pays attention to names like i just struggle with names in general so when i read a book or even listen to a book i usually just ignore the names and i I use context clues to figure out who is who and since the characters aren't that distinguishable in general they're just one mound of character which is a weird way of describing it it hasn't caused any issues so far in the story because it doesn't seem like it's really about them it's really about that one main character and the uh, boy who kind of initiated all of that and they're trying to help him and stuff like that and you know you getting these ideas of the whimsical magical world that they're in and how things kind of work and how things are structured and you're learning all of these things and i find that to be very interesting and I am pretty invested in that but yeah there is some slowness or just 
lyrical things that I don't necessarily know if it's necessary. I'm enjoying it. I don't really mind it, but I do want to point that out. I will say because I am also working while listening to this audiobook, I have definitely been distracted at some moments. So take a lot of this with a grain of salt. If I end up enjoying it in the end, which it's feeling like I will, I do want to try and reread this in the future uh, just to see anything that I may have missed in the beginning portion because uh, that's kind of when my mind is more likely to wander in books like this since I'm not invested. <laughs> that's why I struggle with fantasy books. But yeah, so far I'm in it. We're like halfway through at this point and things are going. Hopefully I continue to enjoy it. And yeah, I'll give you an update probably later tonight when I finish it. So I have gotten even further into The Wild Ones and I really am enjoying this and I don't fully know why. <laughs> Like I'm enjoying the writing, I'm enjoying the little bits in between the chapters, I'm enjoying the storytelling, I'm enjoying the characters. There is a little bit more of that backstory for the characters, so that bit that was kind of described in the synopsis has just kind of been solidified in different ways throughout, you know, different encounters and stuff like that. And I do still feel like all of the wild ones, except for the main one, is kind of just a, a mixed entity. We have had some like singular moments of the characters, but I still kind of just see them as one big mass, which I think is a weird way to describe a group of people, but they just have that feeling to me, which I don't actually feel is a bad thing. But yeah, I am like 90 something percent in and that means we're pretty close to the end. So the moment of truth of whether or not I love this book or not is coming soon. And it's weird cause like, I don't know why I have such intense mixed feelings about this book, like this whole entire time, except for maybe like the first part where I was all like, I don't know, I like the writing. Um, I have just had these mixed emotions. So I'm very interested in seeing what I feel in the very end. So I guess future me will let you know. Okay, it is time. I have completed all five books. We've got the four here and then also read the sequel to this one, which I don't have a physical copy. I did just finish The Wild Ones and I really enjoyed it, but I don't know. There were a couple of things that made me feel like it would have been a little bit better if it was like this or if it was like that, but like I enjoyed the experience, I enjoyed the writing, I enjoyed the ending, but one big major aspect of it I kind of wished was a little bit different, but it's super spoilery, so <laughs> I still really enjoyed it overall. I think this was a successful POC fantasy reading vlog. So I really do hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you read any of these, what your thoughts were. Was pretty disappointed in this Wicked Fate. I still enjoyed it. It was a three stars for me, but I was hoping for significantly higher. This was pretty enjoyable. A high three stars, solid four stars. This on the other hand was definitely a favorite. I wasn't expecting it. It. This was a five star for me and then this was a four star and its sequel was a three star. So I really enjoyed everything that I ended up reading and I really want to do more of this. I wish it was easier to get my hands on POC books. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And yeah, I think that's it for my rambling. If you made it this far, include this emoji and I will catch you in the next video. Until then, bye. I don't have my hand, <laughs> whoops. <laughs>